the fair winds blow Our home is where the waters flow We'll show you what we've come to know On board while sailing wisdom it feels super surreal to be back in the ICW, to be honest. Uh, we started our whole journey here and we had so many step backs and just so many hiccups in our ICW journey that we just wanted to conquer it. So here we are in Florida, more south than we ever were to begin with in the ICW. And we're making our way up the entire thing with an electric motor. It's a really exciting hurdle to overcome. And the ICW in general is just so much easier when you have pets. We're gonna be picking up our dog soon. And we have our children here, our feathered children. Jerry and Charlie. Okay, we are converting to ICW mode from ocean mode. So first thing, lots of solar panels. Second thing, this jib. We're not gonna be tacking and stuff in the ICW. So the jib comes off. That way we have clear, easy access to the anchor, which we use a lot now. I'm going to use wizardry. Poof. So this is a, a quick little recap of what five years can do to a sail and the different materials. So this here is Dacron. It's doing just fine. This little insert that they have here is made out of laminate. And it's here because its goal is so that way you can see the tail tail on the other side that we can trim better. But I mean, look at this. How many holes? It's got so many holes. I can just like stick my fingers through this. Like it's just really, really dead. So if your whole sail's laminate and made out of that, in less than five years, your sail is dead. Where if you're Dacron, it's gonna keep going. I need a comfortable place to sit for many, many hours while just looking straight forward down the ICW. So, these fancy leftover pieces of wood we had from getting the solar panels mounted do just fine to hold my butt in the air. This seat is too high for me. Oh. Okay, so we're burning 47 amps. And according to our Victron thing, we can do this for three and a half hours. So, we can give it a try, because that means no generator. And I love no generator. So we got a thousand miles on my comfy little chair. I can see. This is good, because believe it or not, we can never see forward when you have the sails out and stuff. So like thousands of miles that we've sailed, can't see ahead of you, you see next to you. And that that's the honest truth. But now ICW, it's like everything is straight ahead. So I can see, and I'm so happy. I see W. w.
celebrate our successful anchoring in Boca Raton, we are going to have a very international snack. We're going to have morales, which is green wine from Portugal. And My we're going- favorite green wine. Hervey's favorite. And we're going to have pate from Bayonne, a town, a little town in France. If you're ever anywhere and see this, you want to buy it and then mail it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Today was a really awesome test run. We had no sails up at all, and we were able to motor the whole way through the ICW. And we had parts where we were with the current, and then other parts where we were against the current. And we made it at a respectable speed. Our average speed was 2.2 knots, which sounds horrible, but that's because we had to wait for bridges. But like between the bridges, we were going like three to four knots. It was, it was nice. She's a big girl, she can have her one. Oh my gosh, that's plenty. Mm. Obrigada. Yes. Well, that's an alarming sight. All those barracuda right there. Soundproof it somewhat, and honestly, anything will be better than sitting right next to a generator. I'm gonna say yes. Huh. Well, it is hushed and in a box. Hello, it is Wednesday morning, April 14th, and we are getting ready to raise anchor here in Boca Raton and do a 20 mile, no, 12, mile. what? 12 mile. Yes, <laughs> 20 sounded ambitious. <laughs> We're doing a 12 mile motor up to Lake Worth. One thing we have to do is get up the outboard and also the dinghy. What's our time? 22. So I've turned us around in the channel because we are awaiting the opening of this next bridge. The ICW is basically a series of bridges that you wait for. Oh, yeah. uh, so what you do is you radio the bridge that you're coming and... This is Camino Real. Go ahead, Captain. They open up for you at their next opening time. So often you'll have like a long line of boats waiting at every bridge, but right now we're the only ones. 
Palmetto Park Bridge, we are through and clear. Thank you for the opening. We live in a boat. <laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie's falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jerry is realizing that she can make sounds with her voice box. <laughs> yeah, Jerry. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, Jerry. Hello. Hi. I swear that was hello. Hello. Okay, so this worked. It was much quieter than just the naked generator just rambling away. But it's it's huge and ugly and just not great. So. The prototype works, so now I'm going to build an actual hush box that is much smaller and with a lot more foam inside to like actually make it nice and quiet. So, time to disassemble. What you doing? So our friends Mike Childress gave us uh, this old barometer from the place, but it wasn't working. So I opened it up and I'm fixing it. <laughs> so how does a barometer work? Oh, actually quite neatly. So these are the bellows and they're sealed. So as the atmosphere changes in pressure, the weight on these changes and then they expand or contract. And as they do, it goes through a bunch of levers, which then moves this lever, which spins the needle to match the air pressure. So when you get a barometer, you always want to calibrate it. And then once it's calibrated, they're set. Last time we were here, we were provisioning to cross the Northern Atlantic. Uh, we're on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, look, look at this. This is our rudder. You got a line? Yes. Thank you, sir. Ah. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Ringing Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas. <laughs>